Hey, Max here. Just an update on the hawk moth caterpillar. He spent about a week chowing down and crapping. Um, then he seemed to disappear. So I went rooting around for him because I wanted to check he was okay. And he's tucked himself underneath the kitchen roll in this corner here. Um, he hasn't moved a lot. So there's one or two things that are happening. Either he's dying, which I really hope he isn't, or he's turning himself into a chrysalis. What happens when they uh, form into a chrysalis is they basically digest themselves inside that sort of shell they create. Um, this allows them to then form into a moth, which then breaks free and leaves. Um, not all of the parts of the original caterpillar are digested. I believe things like nervous system and some other parts are kept intact. So I guess to like allow for a structure for the moth to form on. Um, but yeah, that's pretty damn cool. So it's been about a week and I've got some great news. The caterpillar wasn't dying, yay! Um, he was turning into a chrysalis, which is what you can see in front of you now. Um, what I found really interesting is, um, as it formed, the skin of the caterpillar was almost like a protective coating around the outside, which then kind of got ejected off the end of the chrysalis, um, like this. You can see just... Oh, if I turn it around, just on the top here, there's a hole, and that's where the chrysalis almost came out of this caterpillar's skin. Um, you can sort of see the, if it focuses, the feet and the eyes still on that skin there. So yeah, that's really awesome. Hopefully once the hawk moth has formed inside the chrysalis, it will emerge and we can do a release video of us letting it go. So that will be a cool day, so yeah. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye!